Good morning. I, I am so glad this uh, conversation happened right now. Uh, according to Vogue, as well as some vague uh, magazine articles, this is when people are the most alert, like properly caffeinated people. So this is the perfect time to be having this conversation with uh, Himanshu, uh, who uh, is, of course, the CEO of a company which has had to stay on its toes to stay part of, uh, you know, to create Indian retail conversation. So thank you, first of all, so much for uh, speaking to us. And, uh, you know, of course, there's been Snap Deal and there's been Snap Deal 2.0. So would you first like to talk about uh, what that process has been like? You know? Yeah, uh, Shantanu, yeah, that's an interesting question. And uh, uh, before we, uh, before we uh, start off, uh, how many people here have shopped on Snap Deal in the last one year? Can you raise your hands? Yeah. Now that's interesting because you'll find uh, probably three, four hands. Uh, yeah. Now uh, that's uh, Snapdeal 2.0, and I'll describe that for you. Yeah. Uh, essentially, uh, Snapdeal uh, the the first version was all about being a marketplace for uh, everything, everywhere, all at once. Uh, so we were uh, we were everywhere with every category. Uh, and uh, the fuel there was in terms of, uh, I think uh, the lady mentioned before that, that at one click, you could get anything that you could think of. So we had stored everything and of course it came to you at the cheapest possible price. Uh, so that was uh, the earlier version of Snapdeal. Uh, what we are now creating, and I don't want to go, go into the history and bore you with what caused us to move into Snapdeal 2.0, but I'll just take you to 2.0. So Snapdeal 2.0 is about uh, creating a value lifestyle destination for Bharat. Uh, and uh, this is an interesting one because uh, just a few statistics uh, for everyone as to why this is interesting. So give or take, depending on what data source uh, you are looking at, uh, there are around 800 to 900 million people with internet access in India. There are give or take another uh, approximately out of that 200 to 250 million people who have transacted online. Uh, so they have shopped on e-commerce platforms in some form or the other. Um, and uh, the interesting part of this is that out of this 250 odd million, which has shopped on, uh, uh, on, on, on any of the e-commerce platforms, uh, roughly around 50% of this is the value segment and 50% is uh, are people who came in onto e-commerce and internet long back, people like you and us, who probably have been on e-commerce for 10 years, 15 years, 18 years, 20 years, depending on uh, age and, and, and everything else. Uh, the other 50% is the value segment. Large number of these have come in post the geo revolution. Quite a lot of them have come in during the COVID phase. But the interesting part is not this half and half. The interesting part is that the out of the 800 million, the next 200 million e-commerce shoppers will largely all come from the value segment. Yeah, and if you think about it, it will be clear to you that the, <clears throat> the more well-to-do segments, whoever had to be on e-commerce is already on e-commerce. Yeah, only, you know, it's the birth rate and people moving into adulthood, that's the percentage, it will not grow much. Almost 90, 95% of the next 200 million shoppers or 250 million shoppers would come from the value segment. Now, therefore, we embarked on this journey of creating uh, this uh, destination for value lifestyle. In the value lifestyle segment, the quality of merchandise is very poor. So how do you make value lifestyle uh, destination with good quality merchandise for the, for the consumers? And how do you make it of appeal to people who have got not too much money with them? In fact, very little money with them. Yeah. And that's really discovering the fortune at the bottom of the pyramid and how you can scale it up in a profitable manner. So that's the Snapdeal 2.0. And, um, you know, like uh, we discussed this, that, you know, of course, everyone talks about Amazon right now. But the thing is, especially in a country like Bharat, uh, in India, Bharat is its own segment. And uh, it perhaps like far outweighs the India segment, like, you know, the Snapdeal or, uh, sorry, the uh, Flipkart or the Amazon. And so uh, could you describe the typical uh, Snapdeal customer, like what they're looking for and how you sort of know that they're looking for that and have them in mind? 
so very interesting i think uh, the thing is that uh, whether you since you name two of them so amazon and flipkart do they cater to the bharat customers yes they reach out to the bharat customers do they service those pin codes yes they do but what's the difference the difference is that the experiences on all the platforms are created for metro audiences the experiences are created for people in this room the experiences are not created for the bharat customer it is an inbuilt assumption that the aspiration of the bharat customer is identical to the needs of the metro customers yeah. and only the yeah. price range is different this is the assumption yeah absolutely yeah? and uh, if this is actually not true i'll give you illustrations of this right if you were to look at, at our uh, audience our audience is one is very clear one is in terms of you know vernacular versus english uh, but, but that's okay that is quite understandable but the more important one is that lot of them are reasonably new to e-commerce shopping they struggle to fill the address page um one quick statistic for you on our platform 70% of the purchases take place without anybody uh, keying in a search term or filtering or using any of the filters so 70% without using filter without using search term what does that mean that essentially means that relying they are relying on the home page feed and they are relying on the tabs so go men yeah uh, t-shirts etc etc so you follow the tab now this customer is quite different from the metro audiences who quickly want to reach and see what they want to see yeah, yeah? now how do you make the assortment that uh, divya sees different from what ramdeen sees yeah and how do you dynamically do that so the role of data science in our case is significantly higher than the other platforms right what i show to you will make the difference between your buying or not buying how do we handle you through the process yeah yeah how do we enable you to fill up the address pages easily yeah visuals are picture led uh, sorry the the pdp pages are picture led very little text and very easy text no complicated terms mm -hmm. so there are lots and lots of different things that you do when you want to cater to and of course price and assortment which is a massive part of the whole thing but everything else in terms of the experience is quite different of for the bharat customer compared to the customers that you see uh, on other platforms which are largely been done for for the metro audiences the checkout pages are so complicated yeah. in the other platforms but they're easy for for people like us because we've been accustomed to that complication yeah, yeah. but to the first time customer it is complicated ours is quite easy it's easy. meant for the bharat consumer and i'm curious because you said like snapty does do a lot of hand holding and uh, it takes first time customers through this process and so i'm curious uh, like you know uh, is that a differentiator when it comes to you and say to an amazon or even a flipkart which is say made in india that because you have this in mind that you are aware of the difficulties so is that why also that they sort of come towards you uh so there are two or three reasons for that one is of course as a brand name snapdeal uh, is extremely well known mm -hmm. like the others are well known so it becomes a natural magnet if you ask anybody to name three or four e-commerce sites across the country we will feature in that list absolutely yeah? Yeah. so i think that's an advantage which comes in honestly not because of what we have done recently but because of the snapdeal uh, you know 1.0 version right. so that's a that's a heritage that we have but having said that i think uh, more and more people keep coming on to our uh, app and and site essentially because it's easy mm -hmm. if you are a first time user just again again, again another statistic which may be uh, yeah. interesting for you uh, we have two categories of shoppers right yeah. any platform would have mm -hmm. we all have repeat users which is yeah. called rtu in our in our terminology and ftu which is the first time user on right. your platform yeah now out of the ftus on our platform 30 to 35% one one third is first time ever on any e-commerce platform first right. time ever they have not mm -hmm. shopped on any e-commerce platform now this is completely different what you need to create for them yeah. is therefore completely different from yeah. what you need to do if there are people who have shopped multiple times and are coming right. on your platform and uh, you know of course this is an emerging segment and it has its bright spots as well so uh, what do you see as like you know the biggest advantages as well as uh, perhaps some of the challenges for this segment 
So I, I think uh, both the advantage and the challenges uh, merge into each other. And I'll just illustrate to you why it does. Right mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, the uh, in the in the lifestyle segment, which is uh, fashion, footwear, uh, BPC products, general merchandise, household products, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, uh, the quality of the merchandise at the at the low end of the spectrum uh, is not good in India. This is the reality. It is patchy. In fact, it is, does not even compare with other emerging economies. We are quite poor in terms of the quality. Now, the person who is buying that merchandise, a t-shirt, let's say at 200 rupees or 300 rupees, right? Or a polo at 350 rupees or a 400 rupees uh, is looking for, for him that 200, 300, 400 rupees is a hell of a lot of money. Yeah, and is looking for good quality merchandise, and therefore our merchandise range that we have is very curated. Uh, it's curated with marketplace sellers, but you get to see only good quality merchandise. We actually offboard anything which is not good quality. The important second part, therefore, is that we only have relevant price range. So in our case, for example, if you go and hunt for T-shirts, your story will start at one ninety nine and you will get over at seven ninety nine. You don't get to see. Two triple nine, three triple nine, four triple nine, confusing you because that's not our customer. Yeah, right. that's also one of the reasons that many of you and only three four hands went up. Right, exactly. you, it does not appeal to you. Yeah, we largely don't have any brands because we operate at the end where there are only labels. Yeah. So we curate those labels, we yeah. curate the quality of the labels and the assortment and make the ex make the experience well. Now this is a challenge, but it's also a competitive advantage. Because it's difficult to carry out. And the other one which is very difficult to crack is at 400, 400 rupees average selling price, ASP as we call it, where you have mostly COD orders, cash on delivery orders, 85, 90% are cash on delivery orders. Yeah. And therefore return, undelivered returns are high because yeah. it's not paid for. How do you make money while doing this? Now this itself, when you solve this, is a is both a challenge, massive challenge, and also a moat, inbuilt moat yeah. because it's difficult to do. Yeah, but as I said, it's a huge challenge, but also the numbers are there, right? Because uh, as much as we'd like to pretend to, uh, we're still a very small part of the whole Indian story. There's, there's Bharat out there, which perhaps you aren't as aware of. And so, I mean, uh, uh, in Snapfeed's insistence, where you have concentrated on the market, so how do you help uh, tech assistant? Uh, you know, people who, like you said, people who are coming on for the first time, how do you sort of, hand, you said hand-holding, but how does that process actually work? Uh, so, so in uh, different ways, uh, like for example, uh, uh, to a lot of customers uh, who are uh, from Bharat, there's a lot of anxiety whether the packets will get delivered or not. Now, they can't easily read uh, the, 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 the text messages, SMS or WhatsApp. Yeah, that's a reality. So we have an audio message that goes. They're very accustomed to audio messages saying ki aapka packet kal deliver hoga. Yeah. Now, um, in, I'm, this is not the exact text. I'm just giving you the gist of what, yeah. it, what it does. So it essentially gives you uh, that in, in an audio, just illustrations of how this is being done. Similarly, for example, on the platform, when we have more, we, we also had the same thing at a point of time where you had address field one, address field two, mm -hmm pin code, town, state, and so on and so forth, right? right. Now, uh, then we figured out that uh, customers struggle. How are you, what, what does address field one mean? What does right. two mean? Uh, all, all this gets very complicated. Mm -hmm. So we actually merged everything. So if you go to our thing, you will find there's just one field. They can write the address they want. What we do is, we actually, if they're struggling with that also, there's a prompt. So if you click that, you get advice how to fill it. Right. And if you click another button there, you can get, you will get an instant call back. How to fill to help you. Right. Very interestingly, uh, we allow the customers to fill this. And wherever our algo determines that this address looks difficult to read with what they've said, there's a call that goes to the customer and our agent actually uh, rewrites the address. Right. Yeah, on our so just illustrations on how this experience on everything the images are large. Right. Yeah. Um, the text is very easy and and very little text. There is not too much of text. There's very little text. Mm -hmm. Now these are illustrations, but the biggest one is how do I show the assortment right to that person which is relevant for him. 
-hmm. That's where we have worked for years on training our uh, algos, machine learning, etc. We have a fantastic data science team right. of making it extremely super relevant at an individual level uh, to right. that customer. And uh, you know, now that you've got this, uh, may I say, data set in place, and uh, the thing is, there are still three to four hundred million Indians who are going to come online. And so you have obviously got, so what else is Snapfield coming up with to engage with this new internet population that is going to come in for the first time? So could you elaborate on that? Uh, so it's, it's, a, it's an interesting one uh, and there are two angles to that. One is the relevance of the platform, uh, which is how you will get uh, organic traffic. Uh, and the other one is of course, customer acquisition, CAC. Whoever is familiar with the term CAC, customer acquisition cost. Now, uh, without going into details, uh, it's very important yeah. because we want to be uh, profitable yeah, to, to, to yeah. get both these right. And uh, both these require a lot of work, actually. So the digital uh, marketing team that we have is uh, probably one of the finest. Uh, yeah. And uh, probably one of the most conjuice teams that you will ever find around. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and it's built in their DNA. Uh, because when you are going to sell a product at 400, 450 rupees, you need to make sure that you acquire them at a at, at a at a at a small small number, yeah, right? Otherwise, it'll be unprofitable. Yeah, sure. And you need to get them at scale. You need yeah. to get large number of them, which is a diff completely different mechanism from actually acquiring customers at whatever CAC in large numbers. So the skill set is quite different. Mm -hmm. uh, and platform we discussed. Platform to be more and more of appeal as we move forward. Yeah. All right. Great. And uh, so is there anything else you'd like to talk about, uh, Snapdeal in particular, which it's coming up with in the, uh, in the future? Yeah, so uh, one of the things that we, we have done is that we have also uh, created a house of brands. When we figured out that there's a problem with the value segment, so we figured out that we need to look at uh, creating some of the range ourselves to get the quality in place. And uh, that's where another company, which is a subsidiary of Snapdeal called Stellaro Brands was born, which is a house of brands. Um, we have a, a, a bunch of brands which we have on our platform and we also sell on third party uh, marketplaces. So if you were to look at Ajio or if you were to look at Amazon, uh, you will find these brands. Uh, some of them are doing quite well there, it's just a few months. So there's a brand called Rangita. So if you go on Ajio, you will f find that it has actually made its way into first fold, second fold uh, of the of the discovery there organically. Uh, so it's scaling up quite well. Uh, we have a large team, uh, which is from the physical world, uh, which makes these brands. So we have buyers, we have planners, we have designers, uh, we have sourcing people, we have co full content team. Uh, we have a large QC team uh, to cater to this. So we've got a house of brands, which is called Stellaro Brands. We've got six, seven brands as of now, which we've all created from scratch over the last 10 to 12 months. And some of them have gone live in the last two, three months on some of these platforms doing quite well. So that's the other interesting part, which was a discovery when we were trying to solve this problem yeah. uh, at, at, the, at, the, at the mass level. And it's interesting that, uh, you know, there was this pivot uh, for Snapdeal from uh, India to Bharat. And now I think uh, as consumers, we can only hope that uh, you pivot back to India as well so that you're part of your consumer base. So that's a huge opportunity. And uh, uh, in fact, the answer in many ways is known to us when I requested and I knew that hardly any very few hands will go up. Uh, that's a huge opportunity. Uh, we need to solve this as of now, you know, we don't have a solve because the, the platform requirements, the need, the interface mm -hmm. is quite different from the Bharat consumer custom compared to the audience that we see here. Yeah. Um, and uh, therefore, while people say India and Bharat are the same, they are not the same. Absolutely. It's, 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 uh, it's quite different from each other. They're not the same at all. No. And, and, and for us, it'll be quite a challenge to actually start catering to the to the audience that's sitting here. No, I'm, I'm sure there'll be a lot of players that need to come into play to sort of uh, bridge that gap, but I'm sure Snapdeal will be one of them. So thank you so, so much. Thank you, Shantani. Pleasure talking thank to you. you. Yeah. Thank you.